I'm not really a morning person, but I've become one now. <laughs> you sort of have to be. You think I need a coat? Don't tape this, it's very messy. That's good enough. This is the classroom where I did my student teaching my senior year. I student taught 20 first graders at Sealands Grove Elementary and I loved it. Well thank you so much Chrissy. I think what touched me the most about working with the first graders that I had was that children love unconditionally. They're just so willing to give everything that they have. Excellent. Think you got it? They just didn't care if I was having a bad hair day or was wearing the wrong socks. They were just very accepting of me and that taught me a lot and it taught me to do the same for them and for all people that I come in contact with. Well, here we are at the Susquehanna University track where I spent almost every day for four years. One of my most memorable races of my college career happened during my senior year on this very track. I remember they shot the gun and I took off and all the other girls cut in front of me. I remember starting to go around them and tripping, tripping horribly, falling flat on my face. People had to jump over me, go around me. One girl even ran into a trash can. So of course they had to start the race over again. And you'd think I would have gotten really shaken up, which I was at first. I thought I was gonna cry. But then it just made me even more determined to do well in the race. And so the next time they shot the gun, I got out in front of everybody. I didn't let anyone near me. I ended up winning the race and breaking my own record. Here we are in Weber Chapel. This is the spot where we met before leaving on our two-week service trip to Costa Rica and Nicaragua. One of my most memorable experiences on the trip was when we lived at the orphanage. We each were paired up with an orphan living there and I was with Jose. He is 11. We took them to the beach. So taking them there, taking him out to dinner, convincing him he could have whatever he wanted was just wonderful and the sun was setting on the beach and we were playing and it was just perfect. We did a lot of different things to help the people in Costa Rica and Nicaragua. The children in the orphanage and the adults that helped in the orphanage were right there working right alongside with us. They saw what we were doing and they appreciated it and they wanted to help and having the little kids running around singing songs and entertaining us was just the best motivation to really work hard and get the job done. 